Cody Rhodes reportedly signs with WWE. Tony Khan plans to make Ring of Honor a weekly TV show. Kenny Omega surgery update. Jeff Hardy speaks about leaving WWE and more. Happy Friday, everyone. I'm Denise Salcedo, and you're watching the latest. So we got plenty of news stories to catch up with, and I'm kicking things off with the biggest one right now, and that is a new report coming out that Cody Rhodes has officially signed with WWE. Take a look. PW Insider reported tonight that Rhodes has signed with the company. Multiple sources confirmed with the site that Rhodes had signed about 10 to 14 days ago. Additionally, PW Insider said that the plan is to have Rhodes debut at WrestleMania weekend and join the Raw roster upon arrival. Dave Meltzer had already been reporting that the plan for WrestleMania 38 was for it to be Seth Rollins versus Cody Rhodes. Rollins lost a match to Kevin Owens this past Monday on Raw, where the winner would host Steve Austin on their talk show during WrestleMania weekend. After Owens won the match, announcers suggested that Rollins had no path toward a WrestleMania 38 match. A lot of people were expecting to see Cody Rhodes appear at the Monday Night Raw that took place in Jacksonville, Florida. And when that didn't happen, there was some doubt as to whether or not Cody had really signed with WWE. But the one thing that kind of kept me thinking that he definitely did was the fact that we still had no opponent for Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins, he's got to have a WrestleMania opponent. Rhodes, along with his wife Brandy, announced that they would be leaving AEW after being unable to come to terms on a new contract last month. Cody's last match with AEW took place on January 26, where he lost the TNT Championship to Sammy Guevara in a ladder match. And what an awesome ladder match that was, so I think that Cody Rhodes exited AEW with a banger. But what will his future in WWE look like? We'll have to wait and see. But now, we have another update in regards to Tony Khan and Ring of Honor. Take a look. Tony Khan plans on relaunching Ring of Honor's weekly TV show following April Supercard of Honor. During his weekly appearance on Busted Open Radio, the AEW head spoke about his plans for ROH's future. He noted that while Supercard of Honor goes head-to-head -head with Rampage on April 1st, he is still moving ahead with the pay-per-view. Tony Khan had this to say, I see it as a transitional show in many ways that I'm really excited about because it's the first show under the new management. It's also a transitional show before I will relaunch what I hope to be a really great new Ring of Honor television product, a weekly series wherever it does air or stream. Khan said he wouldn't be able to bring in a lot of the people that he wanted from AEW into that Ring of Honor show, but that there are going to be ways to utilize some AEW talent. There is a very cool way to use some of the great wrestlers in AEW who are going to be available and make this a great show. Khan said that in the future he doesn't plan on having Ring of Honor and AEW run head to head as they are on April 1st. And now for those of you guys who are fans of the Stars series, here is an update. CM Punk is returning to Stars Heels for season two of the series. In the latest edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, Dave Meltzer reported that Punk will be part of the filming for season two of Heels. Punk appeared in two season one episodes as his character, Ricky Rabies. Dave Meltzer wrote, CM Punk will be part of the filming of the second season of the TV show Heels on Stars. Filming is over the next several weeks. That may be why he wasn't on either show, AEW Dynamite or Rampage, taped in San Antonio last week. Heels, which stars Stephen Amell, premiered on Stars in August of last year. It was announced last November that the show had been renewed for a second season, with production set to begin in 2022. While I am excited to see CM Punk reprise his role on Heels, we do have an update on Kenny Omega provided by Dave Meltzer. Take a look. There is still no timetable for Kenny Omega's return to AEW as he is recovering from knee surgery while awaiting surgery for a sports hernia later this month. Omega has been dealing with shoulder, knee, and abdomen injuries that have kept him out of action since last November's full gear. Dave Meltzer noted in Friday's edition of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter that Omega recently had knee surgery and is scheduled to have hernia surgery later this month. He wrote, Kenny Omega is currently recovering from arthroscopic knee surgery. The recovery from this will take about 10 weeks. He will be getting surgery to repair his sports hernia at the end of March, and that's about a two-month recovery. There are other things he's also taking care of. Omega appeared on Wrestling Observer Radio last month and said that getting an appointment to have his surgeries taken care of was difficult 
due to COVID-19. At one point, he had hoped to be back in February, but there is currently no timetable set for his return. While well, we hope that Kenny Omega gets everything sorted out and has a speedy recovery, we are going to go ahead and transition to another story regarding Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy has been making news headlines over and over since his departure from WWE and his recent debut in AEW. Well, now he has officially talked about his departure from WWE for the very first time. Take a look. In his first full interview since leaving WWE and signing with AEW, Jeff Hardy talked about why he did what he did during the infamous December WWE Live event and why he signed with AEW. Appearing on the Extreme Life of Matt Hardy podcast, Jeff talked about the events that led to his dismissal from WWE. Certain things happen for a reason and subconsciously that was one of the smartest, maybe the smartest thing I have ever done, guided by something higher than me. He also added, that night in Edinburgh, Texas, for some reason, I finished my heat, I took the heat, I just said I'm ready to go, went over the railing, disappeared into the crowd, and naturally, they think I took something like drugs or whatever, but I didn't. Jeff Hardy also adds that in his short period in AEW, he has already felt more valuable. My first day in AEW, I felt valuable for the first time, just the care and love I was shown. Where at WWE, I just felt like they were just wanting to keep me there to sell more action figures. Hardy also clarified that his intent was not to get released, but was just doing something that felt right to him at the moment. Hardy also added that he was going to leave WWE when his contract was up regardless, but he still had two years left on his deal. Jeff Hardy also spoke about the WWE Hall of Fame offer saying that he did feel a little offended by it. I was in tears because I was like, this is my career. I know I have been a very influential person to a lot of young misunderstood individuals. It just felt so wrong. It almost felt like, how dare you? It's not time for that. That's why I was just kind of like, that's a hard no, especially it feels like something Matt and I should go in together as the Hardy Boys. Well, there you have it, a rundown of the latest stories. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to F4W Online. We are en route to 100,000 subscribers and you can help us get there. Other than that, I'm Denise Salcedo and I'll see you on the next video. Bye everyone. Before you go, do not forget to check out some of our previous stories.